Hello friends. So today I wanted to share with you a hobby that I picked up. Um, I probably started um, doing this sort of thing around 2020 and you all know what was going on that year and as some of you might know I am a nurse so it was really really a stressful time um, for me and I'm sure not just for me but for all of the healthcare workers out there it was a stressful stressful time but so I needed something to do that was I want to the word that I want to use is thoughtless like something that I could do that was creative but that I didn't really have to put a whole lot of thought into just something that I could you know be sitting and watching a movie and doing at the same time and so this is the hobby that I picked up. Um, initially, it started with resin. So um, what I decided to do for my coworkers, just to cheer them up, I work um, in a location where there's at least like 50 people there working as well. I do work for a hospital, so there's, you know, <laughs> the amount of employees is probably in the thousands, but. Um, the specific location that I'm usually at, there's probably about 50 people there. So I started with badge holders and I'll show you a couple of the ones that I have um, just as a demonstration. So this is the sort of thing that I made and I made these, you know, I made them for free. I didn't charge. It was a gift um, and it was just something, you know, for people if they wanted to wear them and most people wore them and just to cheer cheer up their day um, something nice to look at um, and then you know once people started seeing them or maybe they wanted more or maybe they liked the one somebody else was wearing I would get comments like hey make me one I'll buy it from you <laughs> so then I dabbled a little bit into that and I did sell some at work but eventually I had like a bunch of them um, so I decided to set up a little table at a local fair and they sold I they, I, they sold pretty well um, so however at that fair I did notice that a lot of kids would stop by the table and they kept looking at them but kids don't need bad shoulders <laughs> So I started making little like keychains, I guess. Um, so you can see a few of them. And I thought these would be really fun for girls to hang on their backpacks. And super glittery. I love these, especially for little girls. I think they're perfect. Or boys, I mean, please, whoever wants to hang one on their backpack or their purse. I think they're awesome. Um, so then I dabbled into that and then I thought, you know what? I want to hang some of these on my purse. What's up with that? Like, <laughs> I want, I want one too. <laughs> so, um, so that's how I moved into bag charms. And I have a few models here, um, to show you. And I do have these posted. I think I have most of these posted on my Poshmark and on, and on my Mercari. So I'll... I'll make sure to write down um, my Poshmark and my Mercari below in case you wanted to look at one of these. I've sold a couple. Um, I don't know. They don't sell very well on Poshmark and Mercari. I think it's hard to tell from pictures how beautiful they are. But when they're outside, like in a table at a fair, I think people, it just catches their eye from the sun. They're super blingy and beautiful. So I think that's the difference from seeing it in a picture and seeing them in person. There's definitely a difference. Um, so I just wanted to show them off today and maybe, and maybe some of you would be interested or it might catch your eye. Or maybe it's something that you want to try making yourself. They're really, I would say they take me about an hour to do each but it's not this isn't work for me obviously this isn't my work this is just something that I do 
as a relaxing thing and for fun. Um, and then I sell them because, I mean, what am I going to do with so many of them, right? I have my own um, for myself, but I really don't need all of these. Um, so that's why, that's why I sell them. Um, so yeah. So I'll show you a few of them here. And I wish I had a little bit more light. Hold on, okay? Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I turned on all the lights in my room and just make sure I had as much light as possible. That way um, you can see how beautiful these are a little bit better. So I have these ones here. I hung them on my Lexington. And I have three charms here. Um, so just so you can see what they're like. All of them are different, you guys. So this one's more like a coppery orange it has a little bit of yellow a little bit of pearl beige bronzy colored charm and you can see that this has some duochrome there it has like a green um that especially in the sunlight it'll definitely glow a little bit and you can see that clasp there it's really easy you see how beautiful that looks and then this one this one is featuring a coach little bag charm um, so it's vintage um, this is an older piece and it is pre-loved um, but you can see that there's that coach stamp there and then you won't you probably won't be able to tell but it does say coach on the buttons on the inside and then it's leather so the inside is like a suede. Again, it's kind of hard to tell. And that is a functioning button there. And I just thought, you know, what am I going to do with this piece? It's an older piece. It's probably in the condition that it's in. It's definitely pre-loved. So I just wanted a way to display it. So I thought making something like this a little bit more boho chic. Um, might be attractive and I really like this top bead. It's super pretty and it also has a duochrome. It, it does have like a pinkish purplish duo there. Um, so in certain light it's going to look different. I thought this turned out really really fun. And then on the other side I have a few more pieces that you can see. Okay, so this is like a black and white, super elegant. And you can see the clasp on this one. It's a little bit smaller, so I'll show you in comparison. So some of them have a smaller clasp, some of them have a larger clasp. That is just something to take into consideration um, with, when looking at the pieces that I have. But looking at any pieces that anyone makes, you know, make sure the clasp is appropriate for what you want to use it for. Um, but I thought this one was came out really elegant, really pretty, and I really like that diamond at the bottom, and it makes it look super chic, super classy. And then this one, this one's a little bit shorter, a little more chunky. It's also black and white, but it has touches of purple and lavender. And then it has these duochrome beads. So these ones have like a greenish, bluish, purple shift to them. I also really like these ones, these little ones. And then it has some more chunky silver, grayish colored beads. So this has a little bit more dimension to it than just the black and white. This is mostly just black, white, and clear. This one definitely has a lot of touches of purple hidden in there. And then those few duo chromes that have a, you know, just a touch of green, which always looks really nice with purple, in my opinion. Green and purple, like a peacock. It goes well together. Okay. And, okay, so on this lounge fly, I love this lounge fly, you guys. Um, I used it for one of our trips. And it's Beauty and the Beast. I love it, the castle, and my favorite part is actually the back because, you know, 
if Beauty and the Beast is your thing, <laughs> at least, you know, it was one of my most watched movies when I was a child. Um, this is like one of the first scenes that comes up in the movie, and I just love it. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay. So I have these, and these are kind of similar, but they're not at the same time. So this one has a really nice pink bead at the top. It's very large, so you can see in comparison to the other one, it has a small black one. And then the bottom also has a, it's lavender, but it has a pink shift to it. So it matches really nicely. And then um, it has a bow. And then you can see, it's just so sweet. The pearls, the lavender, the purple, a little bit of pink. It's so beautiful. I love this one. One of my favorites. The other one is a little bit more bold. So even though the top bead is smaller, um, these colors in person are a little bit bolder than the other one. So it has more red. Um, this... It's also like a purple base, but it has dark purple and pink and a little bit of red glitter in there. Um, the bow is red. So it's just a little bit bolder. I really like this one as well. I think this is really, really pretty. I'm not sure which one goes better. I think this one might go better with this backpack. And then on my Louis Multi Greta, I have a few more. So some of these are, these are, these are a couple of my favorites. All three of these. They're all my favorites. I mean, who am I kidding? I made all of these. I have a little bit of love for all of them. Um, so this one, it's like, it has a lot of pearl tones to it. Um, and you can see also it has a lot of green. Um, so this is like a green and a pearl colored charm, but I really like that it features this Disney um, key fob. So this is something that we got at Disney, but I decided to incorporate it here. Um, and then I just put it in front of a mouse resin um, plate, and I just thought that looked really nice together. And I really like that top bead. And again, this one has a little bit of a gradient effect. So the lighter colors are at the top and then it gets darker towards the bottom. You can see the back. Super pretty. I just really, really like this one. And this charm, a little bit more simple, a little bit more elegant. Um, mostly white and gold. So you can see it has a gold bow there. Very, very pretty. And this is a vintage um, key charm from a Dooney and Burke bag. And something that I'll just mention, so I do double ring. Anything that's super important or heavy, um, I'll always double ring it. Just like you can see the top here is also double ringed. Just in case, you know, one of the rings falls off, um, there's always an extra protection um, on the charms that I make. And then it has a diamond at the bottom. I just thought this one was really pretty, very elegant. And I think this one is from a Cabriolet bag, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's where I recycled it from. And I really like this piece. I want to make more pieces like this. Um, the only thing is that these, so these larger beads are more expensive. Um, and as you can see, all of the beads on this charm, or most of the beads are on the larger end. Generally, these would be the beads that I use as a feature piece. Um, so you can see like, for example, on this one, I have a large pearl at the top. So those are the feature pieces that I use. But, um, so yeah, so that's why I haven't made more of these because the larger beads are harder to find and they're a little bit more expensive, but I really like how this one turned out. I thought it was really, really pretty. Simple, um, but super attractive. 
if you prefer not to have like a whole lot of jingling when you're walking some of these you'll have a little bit of jingling um, but something like this you probably would not it probably wouldn't be so much of an issue and then I also have this piece here um, this one is mostly a purple lavender white um, and then silver tone hardware but I really like that I found this heart clasp and then it has a Brighton bag heart um, so I just thought that looked really sweet together the heart at the top and then the heart at the bottom the hearts are the feature on this one I think and you know you don't have to wear this on a Brighton bag I mean you can wear whatever you want on anything you want right so yeah so I really like this piece as well So yeah, so I will um, put down my Poshmark and my Mercari just in case you're interested. Um, but if you want to try to make these on your own, guys, they're really easy. They're super fun. And if this is something that you enjoy and that you have, you know, a little bit of hobby time, then I totally recommend it. Um, I get most of my supplies from Joann's or Michael's. Or Hobby Lobby um, they're not cheap <laughs> but it's been a very enjoyable hobby for me um, everything that I make the resin has been super fun it has a little bit of an odor when you're making the pieces um, but I don't know it's just been something that I enjoy and you know I have some that are for me and for myself and and I've kept them and I like wearing them on my bags. Um, so I hope that maybe some of you will like this video. And, and if you want to know a little bit more about how to make a charm, let me know. Um, I wouldn't consider myself an expert by any means. I'm sure there's people out there with much better videos um, on how to create um, charms than mine um, but if that's something that you're interested in then maybe maybe I can do something like that all right well thanks for watching bye friends